So CJ recently posted a vlog on his channel. It's titled Dr. Remix vs. CJ So Cool, He Cracked My Back. Now in the beginning of this video, CJ was trolling royalty a little bit, stating that this guy had more followers than her. And this was royalty's response. Been passed, we passed royalty. So- What does that matter? Hater alert. So let's see here. My chiropractor, man. Royalty, you can shut your mouth. We don't, we don't need to talk to you. You shut your freaking mouth. Dr. Remix. Girl, don't nobody want to eat your food. I go out to eat, girl. Some of the comments were saying things like, the way he spoke to Realty in the beginning of the video was disgusting. I support CJ, but the way he spoke to her was not it. And someone responds to that comment with, the way she walked by rolling her eyes was disgusting. And CJ says, Thank you so much. I can only take so much. Someone else says, I don't know. You telling your wife slash girlfriend to shut her mouth was disrespectful. I love you, CJ, but have some respect and be more mature. CJ responds with freedom of speech and her crashing Leon's car and breaking the neighborhood gate wasn't respectful or mature either. And she showed no remorse. So trust me, I know what I'm doing. Now, what is CJ talking about here? I mean, did she do this on purpose? Because I thought it was an accident but someone else comments why do royalty be looking so mad and cj said exactly now cj and leon have also been spending a lot of time at this restaurant in vegas now just this past visit to this restaurant a young lady posted a photo with cj so cool and as you can see he has his arms around them and one of the girls is kind of like kissing him on the face now of course this was at the restaurant in vegas the same one that cj was with with leon now thing is cj and this girl are following each other at first i thought maybe it was just some supporters taking a photo with him but i'm not sure why he would start following her it seems like she's there at that restaurant quite often but sure nothing was taking place there especially since royalty's son was there with him but i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below i mean cj did state that it was a boy's night out hey i don't know what james brought his girl for man he tweaked this guy's night out he didn't brought his girl man but you guys let me know your opinions on this does this seem like just a friendly photo with some supporters or could there be more going on there? Let me know your opinions on this down in the comment section below. Now, CJ also posted this photo saying, I forgot that my eye was messed up a week ago. Now, in a vlog that he did about two weeks ago, he explained how his eye was injured. My, my pops hit me in the eye. <laughs> The other day when he was training, man. And Daya thinks it's so funny. I don't think it's funny, though. Now, a few people in the comments seem to think otherwise. Someone says, it's hard to believe what he says now because some of his videos, he'd be like, yeah, this is what happened. Then in another, he'd be like, nah, this is what really happened. I lied. Someone else responds with, what if royalty actually hit him and he covering it up like last time you guys let me know what you guys think about those comments down in the comment section below and let's move on to this next topic with carmen and corey carmen and corey posted this video on their youtube page now i am going to link that full video down in the comment section below but here are a few things that corey actually stated in that video sometimes i sit back and i be asking myself why is me and carmen still together I be the one that when we get in arguments and stuff, I be about to go. I be like, man, f I'm go. I'm, I'm tired of it. Calm be the one fight for me. So Corey basically stated there, he asked himself often, why is he still with Carmen? And he stated that Carmen is the one that really fights for the relationship. Now, a lot of people in the comments were calling this an embarrassment to Carmen. They were saying things like, she doesn't know her worth. I'm sorry, but this is just embarrassing. Carmen was Krishan first. It's giving Krishan rock. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know who Krishan is. She is the one that is dating Blueface, and they've been having a lot of drama on social media. Even just last night, they got into a fight at a club in Arizona. So people are actually comparing Carmen to Krishan. I don't know about that. But now Carmen did explain what Corey meant by that statement. I think sometimes Corey just says the wrong words. Just, and when he said that, that doesn't necessarily mean that 
She, like, not I'm, I'm begging him to stay. Yeah. No, but it's more stuff like, okay, we are grown. We are, you know, more mature than where we was two, three years ago. Carmen basically stated there that she doesn't beg Corey to stay with her. She just tries to get him to see the bigger picture and that they're older now and that no relationship is perfect. So if he leaves her, he's just going to go on to the next imperfect person. And then it's just going to be the same cycle over and over again. So why not stay and try to work things out? with her. Corey also did state some really nice things about Carmen in that video as well about how much she rides for him, how much she loves him, and how it's good to keep a woman around like that that's not just after you because of your money. So it wasn't all negative things about Carmen in that video. I do want to put that out there but as always I do want to know your opinions on this and everything else in this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. Yeah, so for the past five days, I would say we've been outside. We've been we've been outside. We've been outside watching TV, right? Right here, we've been watching like Baddest South, and I'm just sitting here like I can see him right here. I'm just big chilling, relaxing. Corey going to turn around. Corey said, "You know what to do." What you say, babe? Yeah, why you, why you say it. Say it one more time. You know to do. What? Show on, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got Corey hooked. Bad is out, yeah. <laughs> this man is funny. Man, yeah, court is hilarious. Court turned around of nowhere. Court said, You know, what I'm, doing? I'm looking loud. He said, Put a show on. I know that's right, babe. I'm telling y'all now. Yo, man, listen. This is what I wish could be on camera, dog. Like, I love this girl so much, right? So, Carmen, just out the blue, like, Babe, you've been looking good lately. So, so I told her, I say, because I've been feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Then she gonna look at me and say, she grabbed the phone, let me book your hair, uh, haircut, uh, haircut appointment for this week already. I say, man, hold up, bro. I like pause for a minute. And I just look, because she be the one, you know what I'm saying, give me haircuts and all that right there, you know what I'm saying? So, I just looked down, like, man, I wish that people could see this shit on camera, like, like, this is how, how genuine our relationship is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't what the fuck people be thinking. Like, you know what I'm saying? It might ride or die right now. Oh, damn. Best believe that.